I have achieved Ordervana. What is Ordervana? Well, if you use a computer to play your music collection or stream premium services, this program is designed for you. It's a desktop application for Mac and Windows. It's designed to play music files and to connect with up to three premium streaming services and be a substitute for those services' native apps. But its main goal is to improve the sound quality of computer-based music. Welcome to My Own Devices. My name is David Cutter and this is my channel. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like it. And if this kind of stuff interests you, just it's very easy to subscribe by just clicking below. I read everybody's comments and try to reply promptly. So, all right, so let's get on with the video. Now looking for critical reviews of Autovana online doesn't really help. Most of the ones I found are focused on the technology and features. They say it sounds good and recommend it, but that's pretty much it. I really couldn't find one, one review that directly compared its sound quality to using the Tidal or Cobuzz apps. With the launch of on-demand music services by Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google, and others, the idea of owning physical media is considered completely unnecessary. Customers can have access to 50 million tracks for as little as $10 a month, and family plans are even a better value. In my opinion, we've reached the ultimate on-demand solution for music consumption. I can't imagine where things could go next. A few companies have tried to differentiate themselves by offering higher quality music streams. Instead of streaming lossy and compressed MP3 type files, they are offering CD quality music streaming. This is possible now with the ubiquity of high speed internet access. You might recall that the MP3 format was developed during the period when computing devices had tiny hard drives and home and mobile internet speeds were really slow. The MP3 format compressed CD files into one-tenth of their original size by cleverly removing much of the data that the program deemed to be inaudible or superfluous. For casual listening, MP3 files are fine. You got your uh, Bluetooth speakers, AirPods, earbuds, the speaker on your phone, your car stereo, your laptop speaker, it's, it's good enough. However, if you spend some money to get a better music playing system, you may notice the shortcomings of the compressed music streams. Audiophiles may choose to subscribe to music services such as Tidal, Cobuzz, and Amazon HD that offer premium quality uncompressed files that stream to your devices for monthly fees of $13 to $20. For the vast majority of people using a computer and mobile apps for these services is more than satisfactory. But on the other hand, for audiophiles who want to turn it up a notch, there are applications on the market that take those services and combine them with your own digital music files and claim to enhance their sound quality as well. Let me make this perfectly clear up front. I am not a digital guru. I am simply an enthusiast who enjoys digital and analog music. I believe I possess a basic knowledge of the principles of digital music reproduction, and I will do my best to keep this simple as I can. Ordervana was released as a Mac application in 2011 by a French digital music enthusiast and programmer. According to their website, he decided to see what he could do to bypass the computer's built-in audio mixer. Now, the mixer is the part of the operating system that handles the entire a multitude of sounds a computer makes, like for videos and websites and music apps and email and messaging chimes, etc. To illustrate what Ordervana is saying, let's represent the different types of audio signals from your computer as three vibrant primary colors. Red is the audio from your music app like Tidal or Spotify. Yellow is sound from your browser like when you're watching YouTube videos. And blue are the computer sounds you get like when you receive a new email message. As you can see from this demonstration, if you mix these three primary colors, you get this muddy brown color. Geez, is that really what your computer is doing to your music? Hmm. 
So let's start looking at Autovana's user interface. To me, it appears they didn't put that much time into making it look pretty. Purely just functional to me. And unlike the title app, there's no home page with a variety of musical choices. It's actually missing some key features like the My Mix playlist that Title makes for you based on your listening habits and the radio feature which provides continuous streams when you reach the end of a playlist. Up top of the side panel on the left is the library. This is where you access your stored music tracks that are on your computer or network drive. You can add them to the library and use Autovana to play them. That's something that Tidal doesn't offer. In preference and audio settings, there's a healthy number of options to play with. I'm not going to go into all of it in detail, but here's a brief description of a few. Sys Optimizer is Autovana's secret sauce that optimizes your computer's resources for best audio playback. You can select standard, very high, or extreme. You can also use these toggles to disable certain background services. I forgot to mention this. You could try it free for 30 days, and if you like it, you can buy a license for $96. This includes uh, a remote control iOS and Android app, and they'll even throw in 90 days free of Cobas on top. The big question is, does it actually sound better than using the title app on its own? Now, I've done extensive listening evaluations using this list of audio gear. Both Tidal and Autovana sound good. I'm happy to listen to music using either application, but Engaging Sys Optimizer resulted in the music to sound a bit rolled off in the high frequency range. And with Sys Optimizer turned off, Autovana clearly had more pronounced treble in comparison. I noticed a similar effect when I was listening to the same tracks using Tidal. This brightness was something I noted very consistently. It was most notable in the snare drums, percussion, and cymbals. I wasn't able to discern any big difference in the bass and mid-range with either programs. Do rolled off highs make it sound better? Is Autovana removing some high frequency glare that the computer is adding into the mix? That's a good question. Personally, I'm finding that I'm using the title app 90% of the time because I like the features that Autovana leaves out. Perhaps if you own a more revealing higher end system than mine, you'll notice more dramatic differences. But by all means, give it a 30 day trial and if you like it, spend the money and support a company that's trying to raise the bar on digital audio.